Okay, folks, it is unboxing time. Oh, this one's super spotted. These guys are just incredible, incredible little turtles. And also, hey, turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, we're doing something kind of exciting. So on my last video, I did sort of like a vlog-based kind of video, and we're gonna do that again because I kind of have a lot of stuff to get done. And I'm just gonna experiment and see if I can't keep this whole vlog thing going. And we're gonna try uploading more times a week, so bear with me. So in today's video, we have a few things to get done. We've got a filter that stopped working. We've got some baby turtles arriving and I have to make them a nice little setup. And I think that's actually it. So now before we get started with all of our activities, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification thingy to get notified when I upload new videos like this one. If you like me and you like shirts, hit the link right up over here and head over to my Teespring where I've made a couple different designs and you not only support the channel, but you also get a pretty cool looking shirt. If you want to go a step further to help support me and my dreams and all my turtle setups and things, hit the link right up over here and head over over to my Patreon. Over there you get behind the scenes access to all kinds of stuff, all kinds of different content. You get to learn about turtles before I get them. I post any turtles that I have available on there first. Ask me questions, phone calls with me, all kinds of fun stuff. So trust me, just hit the link over there, check it out. So with all that fun stuff out of the way, if we observe in this little enclosure, we have little Otis the box turtle, and then we have Jelly the spotted turtle. Now spotted turtles are a threatened species, and so the little Jelly here is a male that I got a couple of years ago. Spotted turtles are a completely beautiful species. They're all black with these yellow spots and I have a male. In order to try to keep the species going and prevent them from potentially going extinct, a friend of mine has been kind enough to send me two what are supposed to be female hatchlings that we get to raise up and pair with little jelly here. Otis, please stop trying to eat your friend. Here, we're gonna let him go over here. They don't have aggression issues, but you know, just to be safe. Before I get started on making that entire setup to try to avoid getting another parasite, I'm gonna eat before I do a bunch of turtle things. Has somebody learned his lesson? Is somebody eating before they go outside to do turtle stuff for four hours so they get a parasite for two weeks? I don't need this. We need some supplies. So let's go see what I have in my little like bag of tricks. Okay, so here's all my turtle based sort of items. Let's see if we have anything to make a little baby spotted turtle setup. We're gonna grab this and this will literally work perfectly. Okay, so first let's get the UVB bulb set up and we're gonna zip tie it up nice and high. Bingo, bango, bongo, worm business. So now we need to fill this little tub with water. Here's a bright idea. Take it out and then just fill it with water this way. Okay, once we've got that filled up, now we put this whole thing back. And now we get our fake plants and our sphagnum moss. This is gonna acidify the water a little bit, which is what spotted turtles live in naturally, and it helps to keep away any fungus or spots on them. And it also gives them a nice little place to hide. So let's get that. This stuff. Okay, we're also gonna add a little bit of dechlorinator. Now let me think about how I wanna do this. Maybe I'll go get a little piece of wood to try to prevent the sphagnum moss from getting sucked up by the filter. So I just grabbed this piece of wood from, it was sitting like in my bog, just kind of an extra piece. And you see all those little dots on it? Those are snail eggs and snails and all different types of little organisms that will be good for these little spotted turtles to munch crunch on. There we go, I think that looks okay. Okay, now let's add our sphagnum moss. So let's keep adding some sphagnum moss here and then get these little guys set up. Okay folks, it is unboxing time. Please excuse my little mess here. This whole thing looks like it's covered in plastic wrap, so let's kind of make sure we can... Um, I try to be as gentle as I can, but come on boogers. There we go, that should be good enough. There we go. This is like the cutest little insulated shipping box I've ever seen. I've never seen one this small. This is so cute, I should use these. perfectly in these little containers, one per container. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Hi babies. Oh, and look at this. A TSA magnet, drink beer safe turtles for their outreach events. All right, let's get these guys out of their little containers, shall we? Okay, so they were shipped in sphagnum moss to keep them nice and humid because these guys are just little babies. I'm probably gonna add this sphagnum moss to their enclosure just because you can't really have too much. Make sure that he pokes out of there. Hello, beautiful. Wow, look at that little guy. These guys are just incredible, incredible little turtles. Hi, sorry, this is in your face, I'll move it. Hello, let's take a look at the second one. 
And you know, this type of packaging helps because this is exactly what they would do in the wild. You know, they would just kind of, oh, this one's super spotted. Wow, wow, wow. Take this and just toss it on in here. This is exactly what they would do in the wild. Like they would just find some little spots to hide in and that's just what they would do. They would hide. So these guys are looking fantastic. Let's look at this little one. Hello, little one. Hi, welcome. Wow, these guys are amazing. This is probably one of my favorite species in the entire world. So I don't want to stress this little guy out. So let's get him in his enclosure. Let's say hello to this little fellow who looks a little bit smaller. Hello, welcome. Wow, these guys are just incredible. Okay, so let's get them placed. Here's the first one. Here's the first one. That little guy was the second one, but we're just gonna place them very gently, just like this. That way they're floating on the surface and that way they can go into the water whenever they want. So one of the baby spotted turtles is all comfy in that little bit of sphagnum moss and the other one is still just chilling right there. So we're gonna give him a little bit longer to settle in and I need to though get started on this canister filter because it basically is leaking out the sides for some reason. I'll show you right where. So when I turn it on it starts leaking out of this clamp here and this clamp here and I think I might know the reason why. So essentially what we have to do is take that little plastic container back there and put it here so that way it catches any water that drips when I disconnect connect these two hoses and take this entire thing outside and clean it and we will see the source of the leak. Bonjour class. So I know that like half of this vlog is just like from this angle me doing things but I have a lot to do down in here. Oh I don't want to move too quickly. I don't want to stress those babies out. I have a lot to do down in here. So I've got that container right there to catch any water that is going to inevitably come from this filter. So now let's go ahead and disconnect the hoses. Oh, there we go. Oh, and there's our reason for the leak. Look right there. So do you folks see all of those little things there? Those are all baby snails. So what is making my 700 gallon an hour giant pond filter leak? Snails, a hundred thousand little snails. Their punishment will be death by terrapin. Somehow I introduced something to this little mini turtle pond and there were snails and they got into the filter and they're breeding like absolutely crazy and they are just taking over. So essentially what they do is they get into the gas Gasket. There's a rubber gasket that makes a watertight seal here. I'll show you that outside. And the snails get underneath and lift it up. We're gonna unlatch all of the sides. And now I think I need two hands for this, but I can hold the camera with my legs because I'm a legend. And oh yeah. This is that gasket that I was talking about. And you can see all those are snails and sand. So they work their way underneath. I think this is the side that was leaking and they work their way underneath this and they push it up to the point where it's no longer watertight. Uh, look at all the baby snails that are on here and they're all over this filter as well. So now I'm just gonna take a couple minutes, clean this thing out, rinse it all out, and then it'll be good as new, ready to run again. Now that everything's all washed and freaking snail free, we're gonna let everything bake in the sun, especially this little gasket that I was talking about. And we're gonna allow everything to sit out here and dry before bringing it inside so that way it doesn't drip everywhere and make a mess. So now while I wait, So hi, how's everyone doing? Tell me how your day's going in the comments down below. I feel like I'm on an awkward first date. There's a wasp stuck in my little sunroom. So we're gonna go save him. And there's a little lizard right next to him. <laughs> Round two. I got him, I got him, I got him. So now it's time to release this poor little booger. Warning graphic ish content, I guess. It's a bug. While I was deciding to be heroic and save some of the flies that are stuck in here, I grabbed this big horse fly and then I pulled the cup down and uh, I seem to have decapitated him. Sorry, buddy. Whoops. Right now, let's reassemble this filter. Okay, we got this right here. There we go, good as new. Let's get this all hooked up. Let's do the back one first. I really gotta tighten this. I do not want this thing leaking. And just like that, we're good to go. Now for the moment of truth to plug it in. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. All right, it's just pushing the air out. So that's just pushing the air out from inside 
of this thing. That's what all those bubbles are. So now I'm going to slave over this and wait another like 10, 15 minutes and observe it for any little drips of water. So now after several minutes of running, we're gonna, usually that's the easiest way for me to tell if something's leaking. I sort of just put my fingers around it. And if it's all dry after a couple minutes, this is the spot that was leaking before for right now. We're leak free. And now because I restarted the pumps, the water in here has turned a little bit cloudy. So I'm gonna do a nice big water change in here after feeding these little terrapins. And also our little baby spotted turtles are starting to settle in nicely. There's one that's sort of half hidden, half hidden in the sphagnum moss there. And the other one is right back there. You can see he's sticking his little arm out. These guys are probably exhausted from that ride. You see him sticking his little arm out. So like I mentioned, our final task of the day is to feed those little baby turtles. Not too little anymore, especially when compared to the new baby spotted turtles. And do a nice big water change on that tub so that way all the water's fresh and that filter's clean and all the turtles will be happy. So let's rock that out real quick. Okay, so now the water is much clearer and much nicer than before. That water change took way longer than I thought it would. But now all the turtles are set. I'm very happy with the new additions down here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.